Hey everyone, welcome back to Endless Money Pits. This is my 1998 Jeep Grand Cherokee, and today I'll show you how to replace the oxygen sensors. Oxygen sensors can last a really long time, and when one goes bad, it's safe to assume that something may have caused it to go bad other than age. It's not too difficult, but there are some tricks to it, so let's get to it. Here are the tools that I used for this job. 22 mm wrench, tiny flathead screwdriver, and an OBD2 automotive scan tool. For this job I also needed gloves, safety glasses, a creeper, a light, and a set of oxygen sensors. There are links in the description for everything I used. I'll start with the upstream sensor, which is the one closer to the engine. The upstream sensor is on top of the exhaust pipe on the passenger side next to the transmission fluid pan. This piece fits into a hole to hold the wires up and out of the way. You can unplug the sensor by lifting up on the clip and pulling the connection apart. There's not much room, so take your time. Now I can remove the sensor with a 22 mm wrench. Make sure to remove the protective plastic cap from the new sensor before installing it. The new sensor came with anti-seize pre-applied, but if yours didn't, then you'll want to add some. Oh. Install the new sensor and tighten it enough to compress the crush washer. Then connect the wires and mount the connection. You know it's plugged in all the way when it clicks and the tab is down. The downstream sensor can be found a few feet further back on the rear of the catalytic converter. The connection for the downstream sensor is secured differently than the upstream sensor. At this end, there's a tether we can unclip with a flathead screwdriver. Then we can squeeze this clip and slide the connection off this post in this direction. I didn't get a good shot of removing or reinstalling the downstream sensor, but it's the same process as the front sensor. There it is disconnected. Now I'm gonna put it back together. With the new sensor in place, Connect the wires and slide the connection onto the post in this direction, then reattach the tether. After replacing the oxygen sensors, you might find it beneficial to reset the computer by disconnecting the positive battery terminal and holding it against the engine or chassis for 10 seconds, which will drain any residual power from the ECM. Basically, this should get the Jeep's computer to adjust to the new sensors much faster. Just make sure the wrench doesn't touch the positive terminal and any other piece of metal in the engine bay at the same time, or you'll be seeing sparks. Now all we have to do is use the OBD2 scanner to reset the fault codes, take the Jeep for a test drive, pray the check engine light doesn't come back on, and we're done. I've made other videos with this Jeep, and there's more on the way, so check those out before you go. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe for more of the best DIY videos on the internet. And until next time, just keep throwing money at it.